Next vehicle, 2015 Camaro SS. It's got the polyurethane on it, spray foam. You know, all the cars up here, they have a lot of scratches and scuffs because of the snow and the sand and everything. There, right there is a sand mark right there where somebody buffed it. Um, it's in pretty great condition. I do notice that this fender right here has been repainted. It's got the telltale signs that's been repainted, so it's slightly not the same color, too. So I'm going to polish it and try to get it to match up. It looks like they blended in this door. I see a lot of orange peel right here. A lot of orange peel. That's not factory. So I'm thinking it was wrecked. Fender, door. It's got overscrew on it, so we're going to remove that. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get it off of the trim too. All the uh, induction pieces. Get started. It's paint overspray removal of Texas, the Division of National Overspray Removal. Spray foam overspray on this here 2015 SS Camaro. Uh, you know, I've tried a clay bar, but it's really just too adhesive to get 100% of it off. I'm going to have to shave it. If I want to get all of it off, you know, you don't want to. The clay bar will take about 80% of it off, but that other 20% quite a bit. There are small alternatives. You could uh, use some sort of chemical, I'm sure, to get this off. But you would diminish the clear coat if you did that. That's how we do it. I'm going to take it out of this vent air induction system here. The clay bar will work just fine. chemicals on this because you would you would mess up that coating on this. The clay bar will not only take the oak spray off, but it will take that oxidation off, bring it back to that factory specs.
Yeah, once you shave it, it's a lot easier to get off. See that polyurethane draining down? Okay, it's a single edge carbon tip blade pushing it off. What this is pushing it off instead of trying to rub it off or use chemicals. Be careful, this door has been painted. Just set it in. That is your finished product, 2015 SS Camaro Polyurethane Overspray Remove. Oh, it was slammed. And the clear coat condition and paint on these vehicles, just every one of them up here is all scuffed up, just from the snow and all that. So we're polishing them. We do that anyway. That's no charge. Part of the job of restoring the paint finish. All right, we're gonna take it over to the customer, let him get a look at his car. This is an insurance adjuster's car too, so he might be a little critical. Remember I told you about this piece right here? Look how that's back like factory. Yeah. You know, you can't really get wax on it, but you can clean it. Uh, the top, we stay away from that top, you yeah, know. Yeah, that's fine, I expected that. Uh, I, pu I buffed it so maybe the fender kind of matches up a little better. Yeah. This is a nice car. Yeah. I figured for what we paid for it versus being... Oh, paid. you got a it good deal on this deal. thing then, didn't you? I love to hear about a good deal. I get them every now and then. That is a sweet ride right there. I didn't really like them when they first came out, but I kind of like them since I they fit. I always wanted one. I like, yeah. Eh. I, like I did a transformer. You seen those? The yellow transformer the yellow ones? One, yeah. yeah. The Bumblebee. The Bumblebee, yeah. We did a dealership, a Chevy dealership. We did like four of those and 300 other vehicles. That is a beautiful car. <laughs>